welcome back to my channel and welcome to vlogmas i cannot believe it's finally here it is the first of december and i thought what better way to kick start vlogmas than a shopping trip to home sense which at this time of the year is the most festive thing ever i love their christmas stock they obviously are like american owned so they have so many amazing sometimes ott items but good to like just browse and really get in the festive spirit so i'm gonna get my michael buble album christmas album playing and head on to home sense bring you guys with me see what's in store and then see if i end up picking anything up i did do my last video i did was to decorate my tree with me so if there are any last minute additions to the tree or to my house decor then i'm hoping to find them in home sense today now in terms of actual vlog Vlogmas this year. I am just going to be doing my regular weekly vlogs. I'm going to try and vlog every day or at least most days. Um, I've got so many advent calendars which oh my god I'll definitely be opening those later on at the end of this video. But unlike last year I'm not going to be vlogging every single day and uploading every day. I will be vlogging but uploading on Sundays and I have lots of other festive content in between during the week as per normal. I just feel like when it comes to vlogs it's quite nice to have a longer vlog that you can sit press play watch get on with your cleaning have a bath enjoy doing your makeup whatever it is that you're doing you kind of put a vlog on with it on in the background and not needing to like search for a new video every five ten minutes if you know what i mean i might even keep my eyes peeled for some christmas prezzies today as well so we shall see let's head on the road let's get to home sense and let's see what's in store here we are we've arrived if you were interested this home sense is near preston and there's also a big tk maxx there which is a pretty good one there's also a next home down there and across the road there's a dunelm which there's no dunelms that close to me uh, i might get a chance to look in there it seems very busy and it's like morning on a midweek so i don't know why it's this busy but i guess christmas is coming of course getting a trolley oh my goodness it is so festive this is like my kind of a section the white and champagne gold kind of colors oh my god there's so much stuff look the trolley only just fits down the aisle oh this is pretty 2.99 really heavy as well like good quality and these are quite cute as well again 2.99 i went for like an all glass bauble theme this year so something like that would look cute and add something because i don't have anything other than really round baubles on my tree 3.99 i quite like these ceramic ones as well you can spritz these with festive -y kind of scents and it holds on to them and then hang them on the tray. I also really love these Christmas trees, 9.99, but the range do one, a glass one, which you can lift off the lid and put chocolates in, so I think I might get that, 9.99. Oh, I really like that one. I think I might take that with me for now. We have, or my parents always had a nutcracker, but I've never had one in our house. Is it like tradition for you guys to have a nutcracker? Let me know. They have them at $19.99. Look at all the wreaths they have. They are humongous, the ones along the bottom. Oh my God, look at that one over there. Let's see how much these are. And they've got wooden ones, smaller ones at the top. These are $49.99. That is huge. Found another white tree. This one actually lights up as well, I think. No batteries in, but how much is this? This one is $9.99 from £16. It's like a fluffy chenille fabric kind of material. It's quite cute. I prefer the one I've got though. They have little box sets as well of baubles. I got my tree topper from the range and it was $6.99. It looks a bit like that. That one's $9.99. But it's just fallen off the tree and it's so heavy. So I might have to get a lighter one or just maybe no tree topper this year. White Company Vibes, $16.99 for a huge star, and they've got hearts as well. Um, and then they've got these smaller stars at $9.99 with a little tea light holder in. These are unique, I've never seen anything like them before, $5.99 for those. Then of course they've got all the gift ideas, like little sock sets, scarves, gloves, and then all the games as well and even wrapping paper i actually really rate the wrapping paper at home sense and 2k max mystery jigsaw 
What's that one? Which one? It's called, they, these are all around about the £10 mark, these games. Uh, 7 99 that one, Snakes and Ladders. And then a poker set at the back there. I love these cosy cashmere socks for a nice gift idea. But I think they look better, the socks that are in a box. Here is like a gold section. I love how they like colour coordinate all the different sections. I have many ones of these from the range. This one's 4 99 I think from the range they're on sale at the minute, the little hanging crowns at £1.15 I think I got mine for. This is pretty as well, 2 99 And they have the tree that I've picked up in white and gold at 12 99 They might look quite nice or side by side. I quite like this colour theme of the white wooden uh, wreaths something a bit different they've got them in stars and hearts and then they've got like the natural wooden color ones as well these are quite nice throughout autumn as well i think and then you could put like a nice candle or glass votive with a candle in in the middle these are just on the checkout but i like the look of these 3.99 what are these called willows whispering something i don't know all the festive candles this one's a fave, the, any kind of pine scent I love. That one looks really pretty. I do prefer the white coloured ones though, like this one. Frosted Juniper. Ooh, that's really nice. £14.99. It's a pretty good size though. If you have silver in your theme, this would be a really nice candle to buy. Um, this one smells amazing. They actually have a couple of these, so I might get them, £6.99. Oh, and then reed diffusers. Do I get festive reed diffusers? Maybe not red one. Oh, gingerbread. Cinnamon stick. Oh, I think I'm going to have to get that. Or they've got frosted cedar or sugar plum. Look at the reed on that. That's amazing. Cinnamon stick diffuser, that's so cool. I've never seen anything like that before. I love a like festive throw or cushion to add to the sofa downstairs. That one's nice, $14.99. But I quite like these like longer shaped ones. How much is this long one? $16.99 again. Gift idea for a guy. $24.99 from Movement. I've worked with this brand before, they are really good. Um, this looks up my street. Addictive set of metal brain teasers. Oh my god, that on Christmas Day, at the dinner table, after food. I'll just have everyone, we're actually going to family friends this year. So I feel like it's 12 99 and you get 10 in there. That could be fun to get for us all. This is a fun gift idea, gratitude journal set. If people are wanting to get into like more positive thinking, good calm pen. Uh, different notebook set and everything, £7.99. They also have leather gloves, great gifts, uh, and slippers. Oh my god, look at these. I like these ones most. From Just Sheepskin, RRP 50 down to £29.99. £24.99 for this tree. I like how minimal it is. And you could just put, again, all glass baubles on here. That's very white company. I love that little star on top as well. They have quite a lot of these like angel and like Santa statue things. Um, I'm tempted, but I don't know which one I would choose. I don't know if I like the angels. I think I prefer the Santas, like that white one over there, or this little gold one. But they are $16.99. I don't know if I love them. Little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> love the festive colors of all these these could be like twig branches within your tree you could put these in 4.99 each and then they've got loads of different like pampas grass they've got white feathers they'd look nice in the tree as well white eucalyptus over there oh they've even got these to bulk up a sparse tree 6.99 white company this year have a hanging star pretty much identical to this um, this one is $12.99 from everlandstrees.com. Although we don't have a garden, I think these are good ideas for outside if you've got an outdoor area and I've never seen them in HomeSense before. They've got all these outdoor stars. 
and different sort of sizes. That one's quite nice one, the shooting star. Oh my God, this bauble is beautiful. How much is this? $5.99. I love that. I just can't help but like love the range ones though because they're so much more affordable. And I pretty much got all mine from the range this year. Okay, so I wanted to actually have a look at lamps because since I went to see Lydia's new flat, it made me realize how um, we just don't have lamps. And I think they really like to soften the space, make it look really cozy. And obviously it's an all year round thing, but yeah, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for ones like a bit like this that have like a glass pillar um, and just very neutral in color. How much is this one? $69.99, oh it is Ralph Lauren Home actually. Um, I do love that one. But again, there is a lot of chrome and silver. And although I don't want like a stark gold one, I want something more champagne-y, less silvery. If it's silver, silver, then we don't really have silver in our house. These are quite glitzy. So yeah, that's a new homeware edition that I am keeping my eyes peeled for over the next few months. I might wait until we move into a new house, but if I see one before then that I like, I'm getting it. I actually have this tray. They've got a couple of them here, $14.99, unless they've changed it. Oh yeah, they have $16.99 now. These trays, I love this gold, and I've just got it on our puff thing in our lounge. And you can have like candle, potpourri, remote. I've got a couple of magazines at the minute, the White Company Christmas brochure. Um, and I just keep the remote on it as well. But yeah, it's a nice festive -y kind of tray, but you could also have out all year round and just change up what's on it. So, love that. They also have some really nice round ones if you prefer that. I feel like round is more like Oliver Bonus style. Uh, so yeah, that's really nice as well. Okay, so I also love black accents in a home. I feel like it makes it look really expensive. Black, white, and like a champagne gold is my favorite decor color. I know a lot of people like greys and silver, which I used to. I'm just loving like white, black. Oh, they've got another tray in this silver color. This one's $12.99. Need a bigger house to buy more stuff for. Love the huge mirror selection they have. Oh, that's nice. That's very different, isn't it? Looks like a gemstone, $49.99. Quite like the shape of that one as well, $99.99. That's quite nice. Very like Lydia Elise Millen, Neptune Home, White Company. They are all the sort of like inspiration accounts that I look at. Another perhaps like more unconventional thing I like to look at when I'm in HomeSense is the handles because I feel like if you have the basic sort of IKEA furniture you can zhuzh it up, zhuzh it, yes zhuzh it, <laughs> with unique handles like they are so pretty and then even just plain gold ones, $14.99 they are. I love these ones, the all glass drawer knobs, drawer pulls, $7.99, that's a really nice range actually. Um, and then these are beautiful, so these are more like anthropology gemstone ones, and they are $6.99, but don't you think that, or like even these, just classic, simple, timeless, but that on an Ikea drawer or unit, just makes it look so much more expensive and more bespoke as well I suppose because then you can tailor it exactly to your style and take just a plain white piece of furniture to make it how you like it. I love all of these prints, $89.99 and that middle one's $59.99. It's well worth checking out the clearance section. They already have some Christmas bits. Um, they've got these two little stags. This one is £9. That one is damaged though but it is only £10. I keep seeing this amber glass vase in TK Maxx, £7.99 down to £6, that one, but it's a little bit scratched. But that with some pampas grass, I think would look really nice. They've got so many festive candles as well. This evergreen cypress one smells amazing. I just don't like the color of it. Um, I am more drawn to the whites, obviously, and that is quite important to me to have the candle looking nice. 
because otherwise it'll put my feng shui off. Mm. It is nice. I feel like it would burn quite quickly though because it's actually not that deep. I love the branding of these ones and they're actually quite subtle in scent. So if you don't like really strong candles, $7.99 is a pretty good price for a generous size as well. Oh, that's a cute gift set. $9.99. Room spray candle re-diffuser. Spotted this, which would make for a nice treat to yourself or an early Christmas present. $29.99. 12 mini candles Christmas advent calendar. I like the simple minimal look to this wax lyrical one. $9.99 snow all the crackers and i'm just having a quick look at the notebook section i love the like open bind of this one the aesthetic of it 6.99 they have so many amazing books this drawing fashion one at 16.99 they've also got the chanel catwalk which i actually have this one and i got it from here 34.99 i got mine when it was in the clearance though so i got a real bargain with that one We've also got the Dior book. How much is this? Probably similar. Yeah, $34.99. They make great coffee table books. So a really nice gift idea. So many amazing gift bags and boxes as well, actually, over there. And then these sacks are a great idea. They're usually around about the £7 mark. All I want for Christmas is one of these. Maybe not this Christmas, but one year. <gasps> little puppy they have some lovely sort of towel sets as well nice little hand towels if you have a downstairs toilet 7.99 oh that one's cute as well or if red is in your color theme which is like quite traditional christmas oh that's not good is it <laughs> just pop that back there i think i got this for tom was it last year no it must have been year before and it's like one of the best seasons that is in existence pretty much 16.99 worth having on dvd this is quite like a fun idea for a gift for a guy this brand blacksmith we have a poker set from them and like a card and die set that's like all matte black it's really smart but really affordable as well fun fact i've never played beer pong in my life although i don't envy like those who get stressed with having to cater on that on christmas day i do kind of like the idea of it just for being able to get all these like crockery bits and party bowls i mean how cute is that 9.99 well they've got a set of black and white bowls up there and plates i mean i feel like you need a big house to be able to warrant getting a load of christmas crockery but one day maybe or a little cookie plate milk and biscuits mince pie for santa i love that for the person you need to buy for and you don't know what they want they have a load of pre-made hampers here some more affordable some more expensive um, with all different things in if they're a drinker or more food orientated that's a nice one these are cute as a cozy throw make your living room look a little more festive Wow, I love the look of these. These are humongous, $29.99. They're so big. I wonder what brand these are. Oh my God, they are huge. In a new house next year, hopefully, I'll be coming back to TK Maxx and HomeSense. I keep forgetting that I'm in HomeSense, not TK Maxx. I know it's the same, but same brand. How adorable is this little apothecary jar? They've got them in clear as well, $2.99 you could pop in like just one sprig of eucalyptus or a little mini plant of some kind or just keep it as is really um two nine ten little tip if you didn't already know that little symbol there is water so for those of you that struggle to get these labels off use water and it just slides right off fun little tip there from clearly a home sense regular i always really rate their acrylic storage actually i keep all my makeup in these kind of acrylic boxes and you know they are good brands these ones are actually from habitat 10 pounds acrylic storage can get a little bit pricey uh, but it does last really well and i really can't fault it i now have little um lipstick holder ones for all my necklaces so i separate all my jewelry like like that and then the drawer pull outs are acrylic as well all mine are from muji oh what's this oh is it like a lint roller oh no it's one of these gemstone 
Oh, it's fallen off my little, my OCD. That bugs me, but it's one of these rollers, crystal rollers, jade, this one is. Has anyone actually tried these? I'd be intrigued to see what they are like. I love this bath mat. Look how thick and chunky it is. 9.99. That is so nice. Like, if you get a thick bath mat, it just feels so much more luxury getting out and enjoying your bath. I don't know. 9.99. They're not too bad priced either. Anyway, I think I'm pretty much done now. So, uh, I might get a Starbucks. Also, never underestimate the food and drink section in here. They have some amazing bits, especially for this time of year if you're looking for gifts. Even teas, coffees, they just have so many. And also festive themed blends as well. They have all these like coffee topping sets. These make good little gifts as well. I also love La Cruze pots and dishes. And I know this is probably a little bit boring because it is just household item. But I do think I would get the black or white or maybe a mixture, maybe all black actually. Um, and all the cruise, I feel like could be nice and I would always come to Home Sense and TK Maxx first. They've even got La Cruze salt and pepper um, shaker things over there. See, here's that blacksmith brand again, the playing cards that they do. They've got all sorts, wine, bottle gift box. So yeah, good gifts for guys, I feel. Just about to check out, and this is always the bit that suckers me in, all these festive flavours, mugs, chocolates, even tea towels. And you're like panic by because you know the queue's going down, you have to be quick. <laughs> Very cute. <coughs> Which mug would you choose? Something more brash or something more simple and understated? Okay, let's try this beauty gingerbread latte but iced i've never had an iced one before mm. i did that thing where i was so thirsty that i was craving like a drink 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 so i bought an iced version and a bottle of water I had some of my water and now i'm kind of regretting going for iced <laughs> but it's all right tastes good it's just uh not as cozy as a gingerbread latte usually is. I also picked myself up a naughty little cheese toasty. I've also noticed since last coming here, they've put up signs for parking charge notices, as in you now have to apparently pay to park here, which has never been the case before. So I've not paid, not realizing, and it's only now pulling up outside Starbucks. I've noticed these signs, so, so annoying. If I'd have known when I got, got here, I would have just paid, but I mean, there are signs everywhere. It's only because I'm used to coming here and not paying that I've not paid. Anyway, I thought I would just show you what I got from HomeSense before I tuck into my yummy toasty and head back home. Although I do still fancy maybe popping into Danelle whilst I'm here. This candle, Lemon and Cinnamon, I've bought these candles before this brand and they are so strongly scented, but they are quite small. So they are $4.99, nice little bargain and it's lemon and cinnamon. So the cinnamon kind of adds a festive element there, but because of the lemon, it cuts through it really nicely. And I feel like this would be a nice bathroom scent. So it's not too sweet or sickly. It's actually quite citrusy, love that. I also picked up a big three wick candle because I wanted a three wick candle for in our living room that smelt of pine. So I had a good sniff of all of them. And the one I decided to go with was this one from the brand Sensational. And on the front there, it says pine cone. They had another one called Frosted Poinsettia, but that was too sweet for me. I want it to go with the pine of the tree and this smells divine, oh my God gonna have another sniff <laughs> three wick as well so it's nice and big and chunky and will last hopefully throughout december but i do like to burn my candles every single night and then these she actually wraps them up lesser but i'm about to open it up again <laughs> these were like hanging decorations that i found again very white company very me very my style and they are these hanging little decorations to put on the tree glass ornaments and you might be able to see that one of them was missing which to be completely honest with you i like to hang my decorations in odd numbers anyway so to have five instead of six actually is more beneficial to me and it was 4.99 but she reduced it down to four pounds because of the missing one so i was more than happy to pay that and then again another one that she's wrapped up 
which is going to go in front of my tree on the floor sort of by the tv unit is that white christmas tree that you saw me putting into the basket donnell certainly looks less busy than uh home sets was it was too busy for my like and i like it empty i looked at maybe getting one of their trees but i do love the one that we've gone for uh, but this is actually only the second time I've ever been into a Dunelm, so it's still a fairly new store to me. I, I forget how like affordable it is. I think it's because we've not got one that close to us as well yet. We've got loads of home bargains, B&Ms and everything that I end up just opting for that instead. I do like the look of those sheepskin throws though. They look amazing. Yeah, these feel amazing too. Really good quality. That's an unusual colour to get, and that mustard one. Definitely prefer the more minky, natural kind of colours and the cream as well. These ones are, oh, quite a lot more, 160, if I'm reading that right. The smaller ones are 35. Some nice baubles. Well, they're not the biggest selection. I do actually need to get our Christmas cards this year, and I quite like the sort of minimal design of these. These teddy bear faux fur um, hot water bottles but I've still not seen one that beats the 4 dollars home bargains um, and the quality of them are really good as well. These are the centicles I've picked up. Oh I've not heard of that one, spiced pine cones, £5. I got mine from B&M, not B&M, B&Q at £5 and B&Q were doing this offer whereby if you spend over 30 you get £5 off so I bought plenty of centicles so that I could get five pounds off. How expensive looking is this? Oh my God, it's so heavy as well. Oh God, 15 pounds. That's amazing for 15 pounds. I feel like it's would look in place in somewhere like Neptune Home or White Company as I always, I sound like a broken record now. Love that. These are a good idea and they're only a pound and if you don't like the look of natural wooden sticks or if you don't like black then you can opt for the other or just freshen them up and get a, a brand new set. But I think that's quite a nice idea because a lot of them have natural but I think black looks more expensive. I quite like this branding of scents they've got and I feel like this mini diffuser trio would make for a, a nice gift for someone. They are £12. I was saying earlier how I wouldn't mind getting more lamps, if not for this house, a future house, because I do like the ambiance with a lamp or two. Um, I feel like there's quite a good range in Dunelm actually, so noted. <sighs> oh, lights are on. I'm just going to hang these decorations that I got. Oh, I love them. There we have our little tree. See, it's actually quite small. It might look better actually on the little windowsill. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay, day one, advent calendars. Glossy box, Kiehl's. <laughs> Bought this one myself. I'll have that later. Loxy tan, look fantastic. And then this is a beauty expert 12 days of Christmas. So I feel like I'm gonna make the 12 days be the first 12, even though it's probably the, the lead up to Christmas, but Hey ho, let's start with number one. And the first product within this box. Oh nice, Eve Lom, and it is a gel balm cleanser, 100 mils, amazing. And then in the glossy box one, ta-da, we have, oh my God, look at the size box number one. It is a palette. And it is by NYX. Oh, how beautiful are those colours? Heels Advent Calendar. Number one is... Here we go. Oh, nice. I was just about to say, oh, it's Kiehl's. I love it. Obviously, it's Kiehl's. I'm just going to leave it in here for now. It is the Avocado Eye Treatment. Okay, so L'Occitane one is interesting because it has like all different components. Here we go. Here's number one in here. Uh, we have... Oh, nice. I've never tried this from lots of time before. It's the essential water. Should we have a spritz now? Oh, I don't know if that, is that meant for that? Apply every morning and evening on the face and neck. Yeah, it feels really, I know it's water, but really <laughs> wet. Okay, and last but not least, we have the look fantastic one, which if I open up, and find number one down here at the bottom. Look at 25. 
that looks very exciting. Oh, it's like Christmas every day. I've just realized it comes with like a little insert of what is in your day number one. So this, oh my God, this is so exciting. We have a Morphe palette, which this is the 9A Always Golden palette. So this is the front, plain black. And then inside, oh God, I love makeup. We have the most beautiful nude natural shades. That is me in a palette. Thumbs up from me. I want to say this now. I just want to say a big, big thank you to all the companies that very kindly gifted me with these advent calendars to share with you guys throughout December. So I will be continuing to quickly open all my doors in every Vlogmas. So stay tuned for that next week for boxes two through to seven or eight. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this is a good like sort of stepping stone into vlogmas with it being a Christmassy kind of shopping trip to one of my favorite shops, Home Sense, obviously. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Stay tuned for the rest of vlogmas and of course all my other Christmassy content and of course a trip to South Africa at the end of the month. Oh, and I will hope to see you next time. Bye guys.